Hello guys, it's Alex Gomez and uh, in the last video of this series, the Boxer Vintage, we are going to pose this character. So for us to be able to pose this character, we will go sub tool that we have in our in, a, in our ZBrush. So make sure that you go to every single sub tool and duplicate it. And after you duplicate it, start C remeshing every single sub tool. Uh, obviously, you can do the C remeshing or, or the topology, retopology in a different software. For me, I, I do it in C remeshing, right in ZBrush, because uh, these are for the digital, digital display, just for art. I don't need this to be animated or anything like that. So most of my C remesure, I do it in ZBrush, and also the UVs, I do it in ZBrush. So after I duplicate my sub tool and I C remesure, what I do, I'm just uh, start doing the unwrapping you, using the C uh, unwrap, I think it is, in the uh, C plugins, and you can protect the areas with the red color uh, that you want to that you don't want to have seams, and with the blue color, you attract the seams, as I did with this. Uh, with the body of the boxer. So you're gonna do that with every single sub tool. And after that, what you're gonna do, you're gonna uh, disable the visibility of all the sub tools and you're just gonna enable the visibility of the body and the body in high res or, or the original one. And then you're gonna start projecting from the bottom to top. So you have the your uh, Siri mesh uh, sub tool on top of the other one and you start projecting, projecting, projecting until you get all the details back to your Siri mesh. Then I do the same process, for example, with the clothes here. I do a Siri mesh, simple Siri mesh. Sometimes I, in this case, I, I don't think I did really care about the UV wrapping. I don't know, just throw a UV wrapping. Don't care about the seams as much because uh, pretty much this uh, concept was going to be uh, kind of like a grayscale, flat colors. I didn't do much painting in this character. So that's one of the reasons I just didn't care about the, the UVs. I don't care about the UVs most of the time. I don't do like a nice UVs right out of ZBrush, but uh, just because they're the display ones. When, when I need a, to work on a character, that actually is going to be animated. Uh, I do all the work of uh, topo uh, retopologize. I do like a proper UVs. Uh, and I obviously I don't do that process in ZBrush. I mostly do it in Maya. And lately I've been doing it in Blender. Since I'm, I'm getting to, to start in Blender, I actually like my first character, I like, actually did the lighting and, and rendered it in, in Blender. That's going to be for the video for next week. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just a uh, uh, Siri uh, measure or my sub tools. And if they have too many details, I just uh, project all the details. And if they don't have too many details, I just leave it as it is. Uh, probably I, I put like a high high Siri mesh. Uh, probably around like 10,000 polygons or something like that. This is just for display. This is just for, for, for art. So I don't want to spend too much time doing like a proper UVs and topology because at the end, this is just for for portfolio, for uh, Instagram, for my videos. Uh, once in production, as I said before, I do the proper things. If you want me guys to, to do a video of how to retopologize a character or how to do proper UVs on Blender, just let me know and I, I will like, I'm really happy to do it. Just let me know in the comments below, okay, please. Okay, so following that process, I'm gonna uh, go with the uh, legs, do the same, exactly the same. I don't have these uh, videos, these pretty short videos around like a 10 minutes, this one. So I think it's better like twice. I have a, a, a added a, a little bit of uh, a speed in this clip, but so you, you can follow me with this if you have your own characters and want to know how to see remesh and, and project your, your details. So moving to the feet, I do the same. I pretty much, uh, because they have a, a little bit of details on the ankles and kind of have like a really like a sharp edge. So I want to to generate a normal map later on for that. So that's why I, I, I project those ones as well. And 
the gloves it has some wrinkles and some sharp lines as well that I don't want to lose and I, I like when it have more details like uh, the the wrinkles and the sharp edges are more pronounced so that's why I, I, I extract a normal map from it or like I produce a normal map from from the from my projection as well so yeah so pretty much this is uh, what I do with the like with, with my character like for the hair and the mustache because it doesn't have too many details I just do a normal siri mesh and then I, I use a UV wrap unwrap sorry and uh, I get all my my geometry ready so now that my geometry is all ready let's see uh, I'm gonna as well UV wrap this one and I think that will be the hair the eyebrows and the most must mustache and after this one I think I'm, I'm all done with the character I have to put the eyes as well and turn on all my sub tools I turn on all my sub tools the ones that are low res the, the ones that are siri mesh because when when you jump into t pose to pose your characters it's gonna be affected a little bit okay so you can see i have all my tools like the visibility on and then i'm gonna go to the c plugin and then i'm going to then i go to my c plugin transpose mode and then i hit the transpose button and then you see that it's gonna make a, a separate sub tool a new, a new tool that uh, it's gonna be a really low res then i start masking invert the mask i move my my gizmo or my pivot point how we call it in maya and uh, and I start like posing the character and this is pretty simple but takes a lot of time if you're doing like more complicated posing uh, sometimes it's better like, like to rig it I'm not good at posing and I always struggle I always ask people like oh, what are the best techniques but when I'm posing and you mask like that make sure that that uh, that when you're masking you blur the mask a little bit don't do what I did here just blur the mask a little bit because as soon as you turn your head or your turn a limp around it's gonna um, kind of uh, get like a really hard edge but if you have it but have it really smooth that's gonna help help it out much better so this is pretty much my process of um, of uh, posing the characters so yeah so you can see I just mask invert mask move my gizmo or my pivot point or I, 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 the transpose tool I guess is, is called but this one is a different one <laughs> but yeah like some people use the transpose I, I can't use the transpose at all I use whatever I'm used to and it's okay you don't have to use like the tools that all the pros use use whatever is easier for your workflow if you're used to some tools use that okay so I have this one as well I kind of like a uh, mask it invert the mask uh, the mistake i did i didn't blur the mask so, so when you you hit control click it's gonna blur the mask a little bit you can find those options in your uh, in your menus or in your palettes of uh, mask then i'm gonna move on to the to the legs and i thought that i, I could probably like turn it like that with polygroups but i couldn't because it's in the same place so i'm just gonna just uh, do a rotation of one leg a little bit and that's gonna be what I'm gonna do here <clears throat> so that's what I do I'm gonna mask out then I'm gonna move my pivot point and I'm gonna rotate my leg a little bit and kind of like move it a little bit forward I know it's not exactly exactly as the design like uh, if, if for me doing this process exactly like the design is it will take me like uh, probably like around 30 to 40 hours so I don't have a much, that much time I have a full-time job and I have a uh, freelance work as well and and I don't have much time to to actually like, I, I wish I, I will have like more time to do but but I want to show you my process I, I, I think that the more I do it the more I, I sculpt the more I do this it, 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 even if it's not as good 
or as a more detailed and I, and I can put more time to it, I think I'm learning a lot and my skills are increasing. Because if you work in a piece just for two, three months, yes, your, your, your skills may be go good, but at the end of the road, they're not gonna, if you do it like more often, they're gonna get much better sooner and sooner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Stay tuned for my next video coming out this Friday. So take care guys, and I really appreciate it. Don't forget to watch my other, my other two videos of this series. Thank you so much and have an amazing week guys, bye.